Bucks, and uh, boy, they just do a great job. That makes homecoming very worthwhile right there. And you see our cheerleaders and our former cheerleaders. I tell you, it was a great, great time. Yeah, Willie Oates was back. Every year she's back. I know. So old Miss with the football, Eli Manning to Turner, their tailback. Great play right there by Batman Ahmad Carroll uh, coming up at the corner spot. I thought Aaron Dixon, Raymond House, look at Gavin Walls, good pressure. And you know this guy can really, uh, he can throw the football. He can thread the needle and very accurate. Look at the pressure we get on him. That's a great job right there by Aaron Dixon from Wynn, Arkansas. And uh, we got we to get that corrected. And they got us backed up. They bring the blitz. Uh, he throws the ball away. There's no receiver in that in that area. So in the end zone, that's two points. That's a safety. That's a 349 left to go in the quarter and Ole Miss in possession. Good job right there by our defense. Oh, get the ball. I think, um, I can't remember who got this. Was this Elliott? This was Elliott Harris. Elliott Harris. Great he just missed a block. And Mary this is going to be a big play. So we were forced to kick a field goal. And David Carlton, with the help of Chuck Nally, Dow Loggins is the holder. We're up 3-2. 29 yarder, minute 49 left in the opening quarter. Sounded like a World Series score. Know, at that that's point, right, Coach. Bottom of the first, that's right. <laughs> boy, this is where just great coverage. And boy, look at the hit Jamar Gallon puts on this guy. The helmet right on the ball. And for the great hands of Lorenzo Robinson from Mayflower, he just scoops and scores. And boy, now our sideline and our players are just, boy, they're ignited. And the fans are into it. And, and, you know, they could have easily not had this attitude when, when you give up a safety and you're backed up. Uh, this is what you love. Look at the coverage. And Bobby Allen does a great job of getting these guys down the field. There's Lorenzo coming. Now, there's the hit by Jamar Gallon. That's great awareness by Lorenzo, and he just scoops and scores. And I tell you, that's, a, that's a big turning point in the game. I reset the tempo for the ball game. It, it did. It did. And you got about 10 or 11 right there telling about it. There's Brandon Holmes and... Thomas Browder, Darren Rodgers, dump it off, hold him, hold him to a field goal. And Nichols hits a 47-yarder, Coach. He hits it. 10 to 5. Now, 13 minutes left in the half. Here is a huge oh, play. A great, Beasley. Uh, great play. And the reason that Jimmy Beasley got the interception is Brandon Holmes. And the defensive line is Richard, Richard Smith. White, Brandon Come back with the option play, and he finds a crease. Great blocking by the right side, and before Birmingham, you don't see it, but he makes a key block on the free safety. But the whole right side, Mark Pierce, you got Nathan Ball, you got Sean Andrews, uh, Josh Melton is in there at center. That's just a super job. Here it is again. Good block by Josh. There's Sean Andrews knocking his guy down, Jason Peters. It takes 11, and this guy can run, as we all know, and he finds a crease. Yeah, it kind of brought back uh, memories of the seven overtimes yeah. uh, when he broke that one, Coach. But once he got the corner turn, there was no way he was going to be stopped. That's exactly right. Here he is again from ground level. Good job on the backside. Everybody's got to do their job right here. And he's going to pitch off the outside defender. And uh, he never can kind of slow plate him. And so that's why he cut up. And I tell you, that's a good, solid run by Matt. And 17-5, we need bootleg and then he finds the third receiver this is what he does so well he's got a fullback and tight end with flat and he finds the backside tight end they come for uh, they trap the two-point play mm -hmm. and that's well covered by Maude Carroll so Ole Miss scores Justin Sawyer on the 12-yard pass now the punt to DeCorey Birmingham well he's getting better and better great block right there by Dedrick Poo. Good job, before. Come back, give it to Fred. That's a good block. Look at the block by Josh Melton. Great job there. Jerry Wright and down there blocking for his teammate. Boy, he should have thrown this ball a little quicker. And they said this was a incomplete pass. Mm -hmm. We settle for three, and again, boy, Chuck Nally's perfect on the snap. Good hold by Dow, and then David Carlton splits the uprights. 37-yarder with a minute 32 left. The Hogs on top, 20 to 11. Make that tackle right there. We needed him inside the 10, but at least we keep him inside the 20. Good tackle by Elliott Harris. There's Clark Moore. Good tackle, Kenny. 
This is where I think we call a timeout right after, let's see, that play, and then this one here is incomplete. Almost picked off by Lawrence Richardson. He thought he caught it. Yeah, this is really a great example of time management, Coach. We did a good job right there with that. And then we forced him to punt, and boy, the wall is set up again. Great job of catching the ball. Good block by uh, John Jackson from Monticello. There's Bo Mosley. Good block, Bo. Well, we changed ends of the field, and, and we got plenty of time. Here it is again. We got the return on. And uh, Dave Womack does a great job with the return. So you see the wall right there. There's mm -hmm. Thomas Crowder, Mikael Vaughn, Bo Mosley. Just a great wall right there. And I tell you, DeCorey is, is he's getting more and more confident. He's just got to stay right there. Punt was uh, 53 yards and a great return by DeCorey Birmingham. Got a little sprint out pass. We throw what we call a deep comeback. And George Wilson runs it to perfection, and that's ball. I think Matt Jones, beautiful spiral. You'll see the protection is perfect by Mark Pierce in the backs. And look at the ball. That ball is thrown with a little heat. Mm -hmm. And a uh, well-thrown ball by Matt Jones. And we needed this seven. He had some zip on it. He had some zip, and he threw the ball, what was key, before he came out of his break. And I think when you anticipate and you're that accurate, boy, that makes a big difference. So the Hogs have gone up 27. And we're backed off a little bit. Well played by Gavin Walls. They've been, this play's been hitting 9 or 10 yards a pop. When you go in one direction, it's kind of the option the other way. Gavin did a great job right there. Open field tackle. Come back. Good tackle again by Caleb Miller. Been very consistent force. Right there before the first down. We hold him to field goal. I, I thought this was a big, big series by our defense. Mm -hmm. This cuts it to 27 right, there, right side. Good job, Fred. Let us see it. Let us see it. Good job blocking downfield. Now, you don't clip. Don't hold. 88 is George Wilson. Yeah. Smith is number eight. He's making ball down the field. I like to see the line to run that ball down because that, they have to give great. There's Bo Lacey. You have to have great effort to run 80 yards as a lineman. And, uh, that's what we're getting from these guys. These guys are fighters. There's Jason Peters. And uh, just playing together. Here it is again. Good block by Sean Andrews, Jerry Wright. Uh, boy, Jason Peters made an outstanding block. And look at the receivers being very unselfish. They have consistently done that, though. They have. They have. It would be so easy to complain and say, I want more balls, but being very, very team-oriented. That's what you got to have to win. 63-yard run. It's going to set up. Mm. This touchdown run by the area. Okay. This is what you like when you when you can have a back walk through from the five yard. I mean, just walk through. You and I could walk through this one. That's a great look at the block by Mark Pierce, Sean Andrews, Jason Peters, and Darius Howard's letting everybody know about it. Fred goes 63 yards to set it up, and I wanted to call uh, Howard the designated hitter because he <laughs> scores uh, consistently from inside. He's, he's a big back. Yeah. Well, this this is special right here. Mishandle the kickoff. He doesn't get on it. Boom. That is so alert by Thomas Crowder. Knocks it out of there and recovers it. And you're talking about just nailing everything shut now. Yeah, this is a knockout blow right here, Coach. It really is. There's Pierre Brown and Brandon Holmes and Lorenzo Robinson. There's some happy guys right there now. That's just tremendous effort. It'd be so easy to shut it down when the ball's going to the end zone, but... Coach Allen does a great job of teaching him to run all the way through the end zone. You never know what could happen. Here's a great ground shot. And some guys are sprinting now. And this ball's not handled right. He doesn't, he doesn't fully... Look at that. Great effort by Thomas. He knocks it out of uh, McClendon's hands right there and then recovers the fumble. Hey, that's six points. Yep. <coughs> Pierre Brown, Birmingham... Everybody's excited and getting Looking in on this cool, thing. Yeah, I thought there was a time here in the fourth quarter where, but well, we kept control. There was some great, great blocking. You see it there. Of course, Fred has such great vision. He picks and chooses his holes and runs with his eyes so well. Look at the hole right there. Now there's Darius Howard. Great stiff arm. This guy's a strong, strong guy. Come back with a little bootleg right here, and this is where we just can't force it. He's got to see that underneath guy. Matt did a good job all day long of taking care of the ball for us. That was really his only mistake of the day. So I was really proud of the way he played and the way he threw the ball. 
This guy's always dangerous. He makes you nervous. Even though it's 41-14, Paul, you, you can't relax. Mm -mm. He can throw it into a crowd, too, Coach. And he can. He looks so much like his older brother. Yeah, he really does. It's a great throw on a post. They've been running the post, the post, and now they fake the post and run the post corner. And it's Flowers really on the reception. And this is Flowers again. Well, they are dangerous. They can no. chew up some yardage. They can. They can. And this is the stretch right down the middle. And Manny will go in for the score. Hey, nothing's safe, man. It's still 3 320. That's the longest three minutes I've ever seen. This is a great play right here by George Wilson on our hands team. And we put all the guys up there with great hands. And he did a great job of fielding the ball. And here we go. We run our favorite play, power play. Man on man blocking pull the guard. And I tell you, Diaries is faster than you think, Paul. Yes, he is. 233 pounds. He told me he's 4'3 speed yet at that time. He is. He is. And I can see why. <laughs> Here it is again. Great pull by Nathan Ball, Jerry Wright, Sean Andrews, knocking it down. He's running pretty good right there for 333 pounds. 233. I didn't say 333. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit too much. But that's still a lot of weight to be moving. So it's a 48-28 lead, and the Rebs still trying to come downfield. Great interception right there by Bo Mosley from Osceola. Trying to find a wall looking like a running back right there. Like he played in high school. And uh, I'll tell you, some excited guys right there. There's Lawrence Richardson congratulating him and Jamar Gallon.